Tonight marks 25 years since nine-year-old Erica Baker went missing in a course a very somber anniversary for her family, investigators, and the community. And Dayton 24-7 now is shedding new light on her case through our exclusive Missing Erica Baker podcast. Nathan Edwards is one of those hosts. He spoke with Erica's dad and the detectives about new information in that case. The new information in this case has led to a new search for Erica, and tonight we're launching a brand new podcast episode that gives you a behind-the-scenes exclusive look at the search efforts that are continuing to give her family hope. Does it feel like it was 25 years ago? No, it doesn't. Um, actually, it feels like it was just yesterday. Um, when you have a child that goes missing, time kind of stops. For Greg Baker, the time stopped on February 7th, 1999. It was unseasonably warm that day when his daughter Erica took her dog on a walk near the Kettering Rec Center and never returned. It's just that emptiness that has just been there for, for the last 25 years of not really knowing what actually happened. It just, it just plays in your mind over and over and over. Erica has never been found, and police believe only Christian Gabriel knows where she is. We just want to find that girl. Man, I know you do. And, I'm and we want to validate my, your story. And I'm trying everything I can to help you. Gabriel admitted to hitting Erica with his van and burying her body. Despite taking police out to Huffman Dam in the early 2000s, he's never led them to her body. He spent six years in prison for gross abuse of a corpse and tampering with evidence, and left the area after his release. But he resurfaced last October when our Missing Erica Baker podcast learned he was arrested in Roseburg, Oregon on assault and meth charges. I don't worry myself about him. I worry myself more for returning Erica to a, a, a resting place for her family. Retired Kettering Detective Bob Green has worked on Erica's case since the beginning. He's led hundreds of searches and investigated countless tips. But now, it's Detective Amy Pedro's case. You want to do the right thing. You want to see the holes. You want to see um, the truth and all the lies that have been told over the years. Um, and um, you just want to do all you can do to bring her home. She's a fresh set of eyes on the case and is teaming up with Texas EquiSearch Midwest to search a new area near Huffman Dam. Investigators targeted this location based on new information, in part thanks to our podcast. A person close to Christian Gabriel heard this series and talked to police. Any spot of interest is important to us. Uh, we take any spot that we, you know, receive tips on or um, spots that we just are interested in after reading the report and stuff like that. We take those very serious. Our podcast team was there as an excavator, tore up the ground, and Texas EquiSearch dug for remains. No bones were found, but police are not done with this location. Detective Green is still hoping for closure. When I was first assigned to this case, I won't let it go cold. And the city of Kettering, the Kettering Police Department, has totally been a part of that. And it's, it, we are going to find her at, at all costs. Greg Baker appreciates everyone keeping Erica's story alive. Kettering PD has been on this from day one, and they haven't rested. And I, our family is very grateful about that. One day, he hopes a new date will be seared into his memory, the day they find Erica. Now, we've been into this 25 years, but there has been other cases that's gone on for a lot longer than hers where they were able to recover bodies or to be able to recover the remains. So, I mean, we always have that, that small sliver of chance that it might happen. Right now, there are no new scheduled searches for Erica. If you have any information about her case, call Kettering Police. In the Dayton 24-7L podcast studio, I'm Nathan Edwards. Again, the newest episode of Missing Erica Baker was just released today. To listen to that or get caught up on the entire award-winning series, head to your favorite podcast provider and search Missing Erica Baker. We also have a full or have all of our exclusive coverage at Dayton247now.com as well. You can see behind the scenes footage of searches and read about the prime suspect. Just click on the hamburger icon next to our logo in the top left corner, then click the podcast tab to find the missing, missing Erica Baker section.